So we are now on number 7 of Dr. Long's review questions from lectures 17 through 18. And the first part of number 7 asks, In analyzing the molecular weight of a newly discovered membrane protein, you discovered purified protein samples consistently yield two molecular weights that differ by a few hundred molecular weight. The lower molecular weight version is usually found in cytosolic fractions, while the high molecular weight version is found primarily in membrane fractions, isolated using a very mild detergent. And the question asks, what type of protein have you isolated? So because the protein has a different molecular weight, whether it's found in the cytosol or in the membrane, we can assume that the protein is covalently modified to regulate its degree of association with the plasma membrane. Uh, we can classify this protein as an amphitropic instead of integral protein because it can exist in a water-soluble state as well as a lipid bilayer bound state. This is the definition of an amphitropic protein. Um, the next part of problem 7 asks, what is the likely covalent modification? Now, since the high molecular weight version is found in membrane fractions, we know that the covalent modification increases the protein's affinity for the lipid bilayer. So therefore, the covalent modification is most likely a lipid modification. Um, now, the last part of problem 7 asks, if the higher molecular weight species is specifically found in non-membrane raft parts of the plasma membrane, what would you further predict about the covalent modification? So if we know that the protein is found in non-membrane raft parts of the plasma membrane, we can predict that the lipid modification is most likely unsaturated or branched because unsaturated fatty acids are favored in non-membrane raft locations.